Dinin, dinin, dinin. Why are you back here at Mega Man 1? Why in the world are we going to be watching you play this game again? Well, you're not. Indeed, you are not going to be watching me play this entire game again. In fact, I'm only playing one little segment from this game. So, you all know that I cheated on the Yellow Devil the first time that I went ahead and did the game. I used the glitch, and I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to actually show you how hard this boss fight is. I was watching a YouTuber, and uh, his name is Film and Stuff, and he basically did this series called Levels from Hell and Stupid Boss Fights. And I decided, you know what, I would really like to do that. I think I would enjoy doing that. So, here I am, and I'm about to go ahead and do my first stupid-ass boss fight. So, here we go. Now this is only the boss fight, I'm not going to be showing you guys the entire stage, that was just the room outside of the boss fight. This is the start of the first boss fight, or the boss fight that I am going to be re reviewing. It is called the Yellow Devil. And when you get in here, you may be wondering, what in the world should you do? And then all of a sudden, all these things come out, and you're like, holy shit, and you have to dodge them. Now, if you didn't know the pattern, you would be insanely like, oh my god, and if you didn't have any powers, you would have to use the Mega Buster. In which case, I started using the Mega Buster for this first little run. And let me tell you, trying to hit this guy and kill him with the Mega Buster would probably be an achievement in itself if you went ahead and played Mega Man. Because for the simple fact that not only do you have to dodge all these, but you do no damage with the Mega Buster, as you can see. You also can't hit him sometimes. If he has his eye way up there, you can't even hit him. So it makes it literally impossible to go ahead and do any damage to this boss at all with the Mega Buster. There are a few tricks if you do get hit, and you want to go ahead and get behind him like I just did. But besides that, I mean, if you do get hit, you're not going to be able to do him with just a Mega Buster. You need to have a power for this guy, literally. He is insanely hard. I would be pretty amazed by anyone who could do it with the Mega Buster. In fact, I'd probably applaud you. So uh, if you want to go ahead and try that, go for it. But I already think this boss fight is hard enough without it. So... Anyways, as you can see, the pattern never really changes, but one of the biggest problems about it is you get confused by the pattern that he does until you play it for a long time. But when you die and you restart, you have to start the stage all over again. In fact, you'll probably be pissed off just by dying the first time, and then you'll be like, okay, what power should we try? We have M, F, C, I, G, E, and, P, and B. What in the world will we use? Well, Turns out that the glitch that I used a long time ago was uh, the electric power, and it is the actual weakness for this boss because it can hit that high standard. It can hit that high standpoint, and it can hit the low standpoint and the middle all at once. That's why it's so awesome with uh, the select button, just pausing the game and then unpausing it. You can do a lot of damage to him immediately by that. That's really what the cheat is. In fact, I'll even show me doing it one time. But I was actually trying to do a cheat right here. It's not really a cheat. It's more like a glitch. And what you can do, I messed it up. I think I do it right around here-ish. What you do is after this jump, you want to go ahead and look for the left side. And you want to go over there as soon as you can, the second you get hit by one. And then you can go ahead and hit him, and you don't have to worry about dodging. But, yeah. It doesn't really work too much. And if you're really, really worried, you can do the cheat. I mean, if you really can't beat this boss legitly, and you have no other way and you really want to beat this game, I actually do suggest going ahead and using this cheat. But in all reality, it is quite wrong to use this cheat. Very, very wrong. Because you cheated the game. You cheated the game like I did, and I feel sorry for doing that, so that's why I'm back here again doing this all over. Okay, but let's talk strategy on really how to beat this boss if you do want to do this. First off, go ahead and get out your Elect Man power, and we're going to go ahead and talk through this. What you want to do at the beginning of the boss fight is you notice that he's not on the screen. He comes from the left, so behind you, so you immediately run to the right and get ready to jump over the very first one that's coming. Really, the only rows that you need to worry about is the first two, so the legs and the body part where it starts... Well, really, just the legs. I mean, his, his chest and all that, you don't have to worry about. But that's really where the problem lies in itself. Not only does he do an insane amount of damage, but he also doesn't give you any time to hit him. Plus, if you're not fast enough, you can get hit by that middle one, and in, sh in which case, when you try dodging the next bottom one, you jump up way too early, and you get hit by the second one again, and I do that quite often. It's, it's very annoying, you don't get used to it for quite a while, and it does take some getting used to. This boss is manageable, he's not insanely hard, but the way that they made him for like one of the first bosses for Wily's stage is incredibly gay. It's really, really hard. So my only suggestion is really just sit down and learn the pattern. But one problem in itself that lies with that would be this stage. 
I debated on what I could actually do inside Mega Man series and see which one would be the hardest possible to go ahead and do. Would it be a stage? Would it be a boss? And I came across a Yellow Devil and I was like, you know what, if I had to do a stupid ass boss fight, it would definitely be Yellow Devil. He's such a jackass to you because you only get to hit him once, just once, and you have to dodge everything. All of his damage is equal to yours with just one elect shot. So right there, he got me lower than what I'm going to get him. So that means I have this next one I have to do perfectly if I even want to be able to get out even damage wise and I can't even do that because I'm messing up. So it doesn't even matter. It's really just a hard boss fight in itself. But like I said, if you die at this, you restart. Like if you get down to zero lives, you can choose to go to stage select or continue. And if you continue, you start at the very beginning of the level. Now this wouldn't be too much of a problem at the beginning of the level wasn't such a bitch to get through. Really, it's just the pillar of flames that you have to get through, and there's three of them, and those are really just the hard part about it. But besides that, getting all the way back here is just pretty much an epic journey in itself, and then you probably won't even have enough energy to do it. Luckily, if you're smart, there is a way to go ahead and cheat it and get some energy back, and there are some grinding points, so you can easily do this if you take the time to do it, but having to take the time to do this about... At the end of all these series, I will show you a sped up version of what uh, the ending should look like, or how to get through the stage, or how the boss fight should have gone, so be ready and get to get ready to see that in a little bit, and I will see you guys next time, hopefully. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me some feedback. I might be willing to do this, and if you have any suggestions, tell me. See you guys. What is light? Where is laughter? I'm confused and the sky is getting heavy tonight. We'll never know. You never know tonight. We'll never know. You never know. And what is music? Where is happiness? Rizzo, please don't let it rain tonight. We'll never know. You never know.